This is INEC Online TV, your water information and education channel. Until the final whistle signaling the commencement of the Nigeria's general election is blown on Saturday, the 25th of February, 2023, INEC, the nation's electoral umpire, will have its hands on deck ensuring that every item on its strategic plan of action for the conduct of the 2023 poll is meticulously executed. My name is Ashashita, your host for this broadcast. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has been up and about showing commitment to its pledge of greater transparency and inclusivity as an umpire ready to provide a level playground to all political parties and contestants to participate in a free, fair and credible election that all Nigerians will be proud of. In this broadcast, I will share highlights of key activities and actions of the Commission in the course of the week and beyond towards achieving this feat. On Tuesday, October the 11th, 2022, the Commission was at the National Endowments for Democracy headquarters in faraway Washington, D.C., United States of America, to attend an event organized by the National Endowment for Democracy and the International Foundation for Electoral Systems, with INEC on the spotlight. There, the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, delivered a paper entitled Nigeria 2023, ensuring credible, peaceful, and inclusive elections. His passion was palpable as he eloquently reeled out facts and figures about the 2023 general elections. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu did not mince words about the enormity of the task ahead. A take home by the captivated global audience was that the commission is on the right track and they reaffirmed confidence in the electoral process being midwifed by INEC under the leadership of Professor Yakubu. Um, technology governs our lives and will continue to deepen the use of technology, but appropriate technology. And we are going to make haste very slowly. And that's where we have been in Nigeria. In fact, sometimes almost unnoticed. I have been registering as a voter in Nigeria for almost 40 years as a citizen and as an election administrator. And I know that before 2010, 2011, with the introduction of the biometric register of voters, citizens were asked to register afresh with every general election. That has stopped, courtesy of technology. Now then, registration is only open to those who have not registered in previous elections. So we have achieved a biometric register of voters that is continuously upgraded. That's one. Secondly, the country has achieved biometric accreditation of voters, beginning with the smart card reader and now with the beavers. And thirdly, with the IREV, we have also achieved the um, transmission of election results. So the next step, and that may be for the next commission, is to coalesce all these achievements into a system called electronic voting where everything will be done on a machine, but we have to proceed cautiously and we make haste very slowly. While the chairman and his team were away conversing necessary collaborations at home, the commission continued its engagement, this time with the media. The focus was once again members of the INEC press corps who did not attend the workshop on INEC's processes, innovations, preparations for the 2023 general election and the critical issues in the Electoral Act 2022 held in Lagos. Speaking on behalf of the INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, INEC National Commissioner, who is also a member of INEC Voter Education Committee, Major General Modibo Akali, retired, reiterated the Commission's determination to ensure that the forthcoming polls will be the freest, fairest, and most credible election yet in Nigeria's history. INEC is on the right track and ready and always preparing for 2023 general election. Whatever INEC is doing, 
we have our processes, we have our missions, we have our vision. And the vision of AIMI, or the mission, is to serve as an independent electoral management body committed to the conduct of free and fair election in Nigeria. Thursday, 13 October 2022, while still in the United States of America, the INEC chairman and his team met with the Deputy Administrator, United States Agency for International Development, USAID, Isobel Coleman. Coleman pledged the USAID support for peaceful, free and fair elections in Nigeria come 2023. The Deputy Administrator praised the Commission's efforts at educating voters, tackling fake news, myths and disinformation. She also reaffirmed the United States' long-standing support for democracy in Nigeria and an accessible, inclusive electoral process. During the week on the review, 82 officials drawn from INEC offices nationwide were trained as master trainers to serve as registration area technical support staff, RATEC, in the 2023 general election. The Commission's plan is that this crop of technical staff will transfer the knowledge to 8,809 officials who will in turn train ad hoc staff that will man the 176,846 polling units in Nigeria. Declaring the training held in Abuja open, the INEC chief disclosed that the commission intends to train its staff on the handling of all election devices for a longer period of time to ensure perfect understanding of the processes and procedures. From the experience of recent upcycle elections, the Commission is convinced that a critical success factor in the deployment of technology in elections is training. We need to build the capacity of staff involved not only to com competently handle the devices during the accreditation process, but also respond effectively to any glitches that may occur during elections. We begin the process with the training of master trainers to serve as registration area technical support, the RATEC. A total of 82 officials drawn from our offices nationwide will form the nucleus of the training. Over the next three days, they will receive intensive hands-on training on the new technology. Thereafter, they will train more officials at donor level to cover all the 8,809 registration areas or wards. In turn, these officials will be involved in the training of ad hoc staff for the 176,846 polling units nationwide. I urge the H2 staff involved to pay special attention to the training that you will receive at this um, training. Your role as master trainers is critical to the success of training at subsequent levels and ultimately the successful deployment of the devices during elections. For two days, the participants were trained on the Beavers, IREV and other technologies that will be deployed for the 2023 elections. They are expected to enter as admin. For the person that is supposed to configure, he or she also need to capture himself or herself before you proceed to configuration. Again, another thing the APOs are expected to ensure at the beginning of home, just like they display the uh, ballot box that must be empty, the number of accredited voters at the beginning of poll must be zero. So it is a counter that increases as the number of accreditation increases. INEC also raised concern over violence in the ongoing political campaigns in the country. The Commission cautioned political parties against acrimonious campaigns, disclosing that the Commission will summon a meeting to discuss the breach of peace. 
the nation's chief electoral official was also at a campaign to promote the mainstreaming of persons with disabilities in the electoral process, organized by the Albino Foundation in Abuja on October 10, 2022. In his remarks, INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said the campaign to reduce voter apathy and promote the mainstreaming of persons with disabilities in the electoral process is a laudable initiative. Professor Yakubu maintained that PWDs are citizens and have the right to participate in all areas of human activity without stigma or discrimination. Awesome, indeed. INEC will stop at nothing to getting it right. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is preparing to conduct the 2023 elections for 95 million registered voters, a figure that is 22 million more than the 73 million registered voters in 14 other West African countries put together. One sure thing is, INEC is having a good start and is determined to conduct an election that will further raise the bar in the conduct of elections in Nigeria. Be a part of this amazing narrative by subscribing to this channel, like and share our videos to encourage the information and discussion flow. My name is Ashashi Attar.